In this lab, we're going to be talking about waves. And mainly, we're going to be concentrating on how waves can interfere, or what we call interact with each other. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the turtle pond, and hopefully not disturb the turtles too bad. But what I'm going to do is, with, with my right hand, I'm going to create a set of waves. And with my left hand, I'm going to create a separate set of waves. And you'll notice that when I create a wave with my right hand, when the crest of a wave from my white right hand meets a crest of a uh, wave from my left hand, that the two waves, the water at that point, are going to add together and we're going to get a wave that's bigger than either of the two. Same thing's going to happen with the valleys. If a valley from my right hand reaches a valley from my left hand, when the two waves add together, they're going to what we call constructively interfere as well and they're going to add two negative numbers, really, adding together, and they're going to get a valley deeper than each of the individual valleys. And last but not least, if we get a crest from my right hand and a valley from my left hand, for instance, when the two waves meet, the water is going to want to go up because of my right hand and down because of my left. So what's going to happen is we're going to have what's called destructive interference. And the destructive interference means that it's going to cancel. And if the waves are at equal intensity, equal up and equal down, we're adding a positive and a negative together, and we'll get total interference, total destructive interference, which means the waves should disappear.